Hello, my adventurer, and welcome to Friday. It's going to be a party weekend, I think, for the Sagittarius. It's, in fact, sunny with a chance of rande for the Sagittarius. That's because the moon is now moving into Cancer. What that does is put emotional focus for the next two days on intimacy and all of your boundaries in life. And by emotional focus, I mean a sensitivity. So that sensitivity can play into a good life when it comes to just having great goosebumps from a great connection from somebody. And that sensitivity can work against you if you find yourself surrounded by a lot of noise or a lot of craziness, your emotions will be sensitive about your borders. So if you find yourself feeling extra anxious this weekend, you probably should transplant yourself into a nice, more serene setting. Also during the course of the weekend with the moon in Cancer, it's going to cross into an opposition with Pluto. That means you may find yourself in an opposition about feeling sensitive and where your boundaries need to be and about your sense of self-esteem. Maybe something will pull you between the two. This could also play out in an intimate relationship where you're wanting to feel very close and intimate, but you're having anxiety about you not being enough, you not doing enough. And I'll tell you right now, if you find yourself torn between the two, wanting to feel close and not feeling like you're enough, it's the part of you not feeling like enough that needs to change. Pluto is saying Sagittarius need to redefine the way they value themselves. It's not that you can't be intimate. It's that according to the terms you have planted in your consciousness, it cannot happen. So change the terms and you win the contract. Now also I want to talk about the sun which in Aquarius is ruled by Mars today. Martian energy means it's time to be aggressive, it's time to act. The topic is a new attitude in life. That's what Sagittarius are working on this weekend, is developing a new attitude for 2009. So if you've come to some conclusions in the last two chapters about the way you want to talk to yourself, or the way you want to process, or maybe you don't want to allow yourself to start worrying about something or fall into a mind game trap, it's time to act. Enforce that. Act on it. Let's try it out. We've got 10 days left to get your minds working on your side. By the way, when we come back on Monday, we're going to have the first lunar eclipse of the year. It's going to be in Leo. It's going to be powerful, and you don't want to miss the astro weather for that. All right, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. I'll see you back on Monday, Sag. Live, love, be. So